Hello, everyone. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, what is purchase order unit and uh, what is purchase order price unit. Generally, both will be most of the cases, it will be same. But uh, in case of any differences are there, and if you want to explain about the business purpose, today's video is going to give you enough inputs. So if you came to our uh, channel for the first time, subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching on Udemy, you can provide your valuable ratings. So let's go to the topic. Okay, so what is the purchase order unit and uh, price unit? So those two things we are going to see. Whenever you see the PO, there will be two units you generally observe. One is order unit. Another one is purchase order price unit. Okay. So mainly these two will be there and order unit and purchase order price unit. So what is this order unit? Order unit is the mainly it is deals about the quantity what you are receiving to our uh, warehouse and all. This will deal related to that financial postings. Okay. Mostly the financial postings related, it will have impact. So order unit, the sources wise, the most of the based on my analysis and the order unit, um, if you create contract, If the PO is created with ref reference to contract, we call release order. So from contract, it will take it. If there is no contract, it will take from purchase info record. So if the purchase info record, if you maintain the order unit, from where it will take. If there is no PIR, then it will take from material master. Material master purchasing view, we have a field called order unit from where it will take. So, for example, if you are uh, using any kind of uh, order price unit. So, order price unit, like I mentioned that in my experience, order unit and order price unit both are same. So, what is the business purpose of order price unit? For example, you are ordering a material in pieces. Okay, you are ordering 10 pieces. But the vendor is going to give you the invoice in pack. Okay, let us take it. He will give you the invoice in pack. So of course, in the Metal Master, we need to maintain one pack equals to maybe 10 pieces. Okay, one pack equals to 10 pieces will maintain Metal Master. So the info record, uh, we need to maintain, okay, uh, because the vendor is going to give you the invoice in pack. So from where this order price unit will come, the main uh, key resource is PIR. In purchase info record for the combination of the vendor and uh, the material, the plant, purchase or what are the combination, if you maintain that price unit as per pack. For example, one pack cost is let me check it in the example, what amount I have given so that we can use the same thing. So one pack is 1000 INR. So for example, one pack is 1000 INR is the agreed price. Then per piece will be 100, okay? Per piece will be 100 INR. That is only for our information purpose. So order price unit will be different until the vendor will tell you that you order in quantity, I will also send you in pieces only, but my pricing will be sent by packs. Okay, such kind of a complex requirement, you can use this order price unit, but uh, as much as you can try to use both order unit and order price unit as same, 
so that uh, some certain confusions and certain kind of uh, challenges can be avoided so let us go to this topic in sap and i'm going to show you so let me share my screen so we'll go to sap screen directly we'll go to sap Before going to SAP, I want to explain something. Okay, we will use the lighting, just the spotlight. So I made a one slide presentation just for our understanding. So what is order unit and what is order price unit? So what is this? Like the unit of measure in which you order the material from your vendor. This is the unit used to specify the quantity in the purchase order line item. So the purpose is uh, it detects the physical quantity you are requesting from the supplier. You are re requesting that, uh, can you send me 10 pieces like that? So purpose, uh, we have seen an example like you order uh, 10 pieces of a product or 50 boxes of an item like that. So the order unit will come from the either contract, if you are reference to contract, if you are creating the purchase order and info record, if there is nothing, then Metal Master purchasing your order unit. Order price unit, just now I mentioned that, in which the purchase order price relates. Okay, this is the unit which the vendor charges you for the material. That's why I was highlighting, the vendor will send you the invoice per pack so that you have to maintain separately it is difficult to maintain manual in purchase order. Still, you can maintain it. But if you have a proper purchase info record, the data will come from there. Okay, That's what we are going to see in SAP now. Okay, So first, I was mentioning about the way the order unit you can maintain for a material purchasing. Here, you can maintain a different order unit if you want to maintain, which is different from base unit of measure. Then you can maintain order unit. And we have a detailed video about uh, variable unit, how to, uh, it, what kind of uh, circumstances we are going to use this variable unit active. So for example, if you want to have a different price uh, per each, this is the price per order unit, different price, how to handle that variable unit concept. Uh, you can uh, search in YouTube and go to YouTube and check it variable unit by Ganesh Padala so that you will find that uh, video. So. There, I explain that variable unit. That is mainly for having base unit of measure and order unit are both are different. And you wanted to have a different prices for base unit and different price for order unit. That video will give you the complete picture. Okay. So this is the order unit and we are going to our topic today. So the main thing, how to uh, maintain this order unit and order price unit. Okay. So... Let us see that where is exactly sitting in a purchase order. So you can see here, this is the purchase order. The one which you see here, this is called order unit. Quantity, order unit, which will deal about the quantity. Where is this order price unit? This is the one order price unit. So most of the cases, both will be similar. Like I mentioned that your, if your vendor is saying that your order quantity can be each but my order price unit will be always pack for all of our customers. We send uh, in pack only the invoice related, such complex requirement, then you can adopt it. You can directly maintain in the purchase order or you can maintain in the info record. Let me show you in info record how to maintain this. Go to ME12 and uh, I just maintained so that I will directly show you. 400252, the supplier, material, purchase org, and plant. Go here and uh, go to conditions. So in condition, you have to maintain it. So if you want to get a more picture, let me do one thing. ME11 and 2. I'm maintaining a new info record. So in the new info record, I'm going to maintain 
delivery time 30, standard 100. Here, what we are going to give? 1000 CD for pack. Okay. Per pack, we have to maintain the order price unit, although our order unit is each. So if you go to conditions, the pack has come automatically 1000. One pack, thousand. So in the metal master, we have already maintained conversion. Go to additional data, unit of measure. See, one pack equals to 10 each. Already we have done. So one pack equals to thousand units, thousand uh, currency, whatever that is, GDR, INR. So one pack equals to thousand means one each equals to 100. So first, the best thing is you should maintain the conversion in the Metal Master. And in Info Record, you need to maintain the price per pack. That was agreed with the vendor. Now you go to purchase order and uh, give the supplier material. See here, the per pack, 1,000 currency, the LCD, it came automatically because of info record. But actually you're ordering always 10 units. You order 10 units each, okay? See, you can see, please check the units of, uh, it is giving that one, whether check it, whether your current conversion is proper or not. You can see the quantity of unit here and the currency here, order unit and order price unit. Order unit is 10, 10 each, price unit is one pack. Okay, see order price unit also, it is getting converted. So you come to conditions, you can see 1000 SGD because still one pack, 10. For example, if you give 20, it will become 2000. One pack, 1000, but uh, it is two pack because it's 20. If you give 25, 2500. So this is about the order price unit and this one is order unit. Okay. Now you can do the save the purchase order. Then you do the me go 545. So Ganesh test unit, <laughs> something we can write. And uh, item OK. Click on check button. 25 each we are receiving. OK. So 25 quantity we are receiving. Click on post. So if you check the display, 25 quantity is received. Go to quantity. You can see here. Automatically, it is updated 2.5 pack order price unit based on the conversion. So this all completed 25 document info, accounting entries. It will show the amount 2500 PSX debit and GRIR credit. Yeah. All good. Now, if you do Miro, or if you really wanted to use Fury, let us go to Fury Launchpad. Your Ganesh. I've given the password. I just want to make it familiar, but I, the screen was not much difference. Supplier invoice processing. Create supplier invoice. Company code is NS12. 1806-2025. What is our PO number? ME23N545. Yeah. Five forty five zero one. Let us make the tax code five zero. The business place is a mandatory field. So 
so select invoice <laughs> that's why y it is zero so 25 each 2500 already has come because that is your order unit okay so if you go and check the details the vendor has sent you the 2500 invoice to you because he's sending per pack so 2500 the entire process will be quite similar for us you can only check the details here quantity in order price unit if you see the physical invoice from the vendor that will contain 2.5 pack it should not generate any confusion because we already managed with our purchase info record and metal master uh, having the conversion purchase info record have the order price unit so when the physical invoice is showing as 2.5 pack you will not can if you don't do all those stuff 2.5 pack has come then that finance member will completely confuse why this is this much quantity is coming here it is coming 25 it is 2.5 then all these kind of discussions will happen okay. so we go are going to do watch 2500 click on simulate if all good then we can click on post so that is the one so i hope you got uh, good knowledge about what is this order price unit in what circumstances we have to activate that how to activate need to maintain uh, conversion in metal master need to maintain purchase info record with the proper price per pack or per box whatever agreed unit with the vendor i hope in this video you learned about order unit difference between order unit and order price unit order unit and order price unit if you like the video, you can provide your valuable uh, rating and valuable comments and check our other videos related to purchase info record and variable unit and uh, inventory. There are multiple videos are available. Thanks for watching.